So, so when, when you got when they when the cop swooped on you and, and already drew down, jumped out immediately. Why let do you think that you, happened? Let me tell you. I was gonna tell you this too, right? I think somebody from my name. I ain't gonna say nothing. Homie told me, but I don't know because. I, I was in the hood, like I said, I was in the set with the straps. So I was letting my niggas use certain straps and shit. You feel me? So one time when I walked from uh from my house, from I told you I just walked through the canal and all that shit, I seen an officer in my hood. He, like he wanted to get me, but he didn't he, he like he's like, alright, I'm gonna get you right now. He got on. So I was I was gonna break on him anyway, but he didn't he was like, alright, I'm gonna get on. Got on. When I got by my house in the Carvers, that nigga jumped out of his car and pointed his gun at me and said, come here, nigga. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, damn. And then he didn't think I remember him. I'm like, nigga, you the same nigga. That, you ain't even supposed to be over here. You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, well, I didn't think y'all could travel that far. <laughs> like, how the fuck you gonna go from way over there to over here type shit? You ain't supposed to be patrolling that many areas, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Then he talking about grabbed me and shit. He nigga took me in my house, ran through all my shit. He ain't know I took all my shit out of there, bro. Fuck it. My people smart. They said, nigga, hey, get this shit up out of here. I said, why? He said, I, I don't know. I got a feeling. Just get it up out of here. So I got all my shit up out of there. I said, I had shit up in there. I told you. I got to it with them carving niggas. That shit. I had the gun. I had to get guns after that. Okay? Gang of guns at my house. We fucked that shit, nigga. <laughs> so my people told me, nigga, get this shit up out of here. I got a feeling that nigga, you niggas gonna come and <laughs> shit, whatever, nigga. And he was right, nigga. The motherfuckers came, nigga. I listened to my older niggas, you know what I'm saying? They tell me, nigga, I don't know why I'm listening, but I'm gonna listen, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Pack this shit up, move this shit away, you know what I'm saying? They came, nigga, went all through my shit. He was hot. He's like, nigga, where the fuck the guns at? I'm like, what are you talking about? You told me you grabbed me for some other shit. <laughs> nigga, where the guns at? Nigga, you supposed to have the gun. I ain't got shit. I don't know what you talking about, nigga. <laughs> he was mad. He was mad. This nigga. So when I got caught, I probably got caught some weeks later. I think that was because they probably told this nigga, the officers, like, he looking out for this nigga right here. He he a nigga with guns. He we Somebody told us, gave us information. This nigga always keep a strap on him. Because I had to get, I think I tell you, he know. I used to be in Long Beach, nigga, everywhere with that motherfucking gun. Nigga, I went, that was my life, nigga, that fucking gun. Nigga, I went, took it, I took it, that was like with my soul, nigga. I took that motherfucker everywhere with me, like, nigga, see, I got the strap in me, nigga. You already know, if you seen me, you seen the strap. Like, <laughs> nigga, got the gun on him. Yep, nigga, I got this gun. I'm surprised you only got four months for that strap. No, see, my mama paid for a lawyer, and I told her she didn't need to. I probably got more time, because they were trying to send me to YA for that shit. You went to juvenile hall, right? Yeah. yeah. Did your mama pay for a lawyer? No, no. They, they actually gave me six months probation. Yeah. But after the six months, it was over. They gave you a longer probation. Yeah, though. longer probation. Yeah. Longer probation, and my mama paid for a lawyer. I didn't want her to, but she paid anyway, because she was scared. She thought the gun had murders on it and shit. Well, it did have crime attached to it, but... She's like, oh, he gonna go to YA and do all this prison time and shit. I'm like, man. So you was able to escape a YA case. You stayed juvenile. You was in an LP. What was LP like for those six months? Oh, shit, nigga. I was fighting, nigga. You was Fruit Town Power Room at this point, Fruit Town the Power Room, nigga. <laughs> I went in there, nigga. It was Sprokers, nigga. As soon as I stepped in, nigga. What was that? 14 stepped in there. Nigga, it was Fruit Town Power Room. Got down with it. Back then it was uh, all cop the cribs, so I had to fight all the cop the cribs that came through that motherfucker. Any cop the crib came through there, we had to get out, like, nigga, for our room. Nigga, you know what I'm saying? You here, we need that run, that nigga. Other than that, but, but a lot was crazy because I told you I kept coming back and forth. Nigga, me and them county cribs was cool after that. Like, nigga, this is my nigga, blah. And then it was crazy. Other power rules would come in there and be like, what the fuck, you ain't fighting this nigga? I, I got in with him. It's your turn, blah. That's what I'm saying. Don't be scared, nigga. And squabble up with blood, nigga. Me and him didn't just become friends, nigga. I came in this bitch, me and him had to get out, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Now we cool. <laughs> but now you gotta get cool with him, you know what I'm saying? Y'all gotta run your thing real quick. A lot of niggas, I ain't gonna lie, nigga. A lot of power rules came in there scary when I was in the off. When I was 14 and shit, and LP and shit, even when I was hitting S unit, nigga, a lot of scary ass power room niggas, man. Some from my hood, some a lot from other hoods, you know what I'm saying? But I, I ain't mad. It was some gangster ones though, I ain't gonna lie. Some gangster power rules came through there, but it was a lot of scary power rules well, came well, there. Well, let's shout out some of the ones that held it down <laughs> that you remember. My nigga S Braid, bro, it's a gangster power rule. Uh, who else was a gangster power rule? Uh, 
Shit, nigga, um, that nigga Fatal from Looters, Blood, uh, Pyro, Blood was in there beating on shit. Uh, my nigga from the hood, Mommy Redbird, his name was, uh, what they call Blood, Troubles in there, he's going by Troubles in there and shit. Blood was in there beating on shit, the homie uh, Smooth from the set, Blood was squabbling and shit. Uh, but it's a couple other Pyro's I can't really remember right now, and it was from different, like, Pyro games I was in there, like, beating shit up. But I'm saying, for the most part, it was a gang of scary pop rules. It was a gang of them that came through there claiming the pee, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, blood, you niggas ain't getting down. You niggas ain't, you feel me? Let niggas diss the pop rules shit. I'm like, come on, nigga, you don't, you don't do that. Is there some crypt you remember in there that was holding it down too? Hell yeah, the, both of the boo-boos from Southside, nigga. Uh, nigga, uh, motherfucking nigga from, uh, I remember the, uh, the couple Grave Street niggas was in there doing that shit. The motherfucking, uh, who else? Uh, couple insane niggas. Couple, a lot of crib niggas. The crib niggas got a gang of niggas that they have coming in there and shit doing it. They got scary niggas too. Everybody got scary niggas, you know what I'm saying? But they be having some, they got some hitters and shit too. So when you first arrived at uh, LP, um, the, the, the night you went to 77 Division, do they take you to LP like the next day or how does that go? Oh yeah, the next day. I think that day. They had sat me there for a lot of hours and shit. Basically, they waited till the next day, then they took me. It's like, they, I didn't sleep there. I just sat on their fucking bench that they had right there, and they was giving me little lunches and shit until they took me to LP. And what's the, what's the, uh, the process when you arrive to LP? Thanks for watching StreetTV.net. If you're not subscribed, please hit that button below and click the bell to receive alerts and notifications. Feel free to comment below so you can give us your feedback and be sure to watch the two related episodes to the right. If you want to support this platform or follow us on social media, visit the links in the description and thanks for watching StreetTV.net.